hello guys welcome back to my channel as part of today's video we are going to see how we can export uh, content hub entities so when i say uh, export you know exporting content hub entities what i mean is uh, you know the exporting the metadata uh, you know metadata information about specific entity right uh, i'm not talking about specifically you know uh, down you know exporting the the physical um, entity itself so uh, in one of our video we have seen how we can import it so uh, in today's video we will see how we can export it and the same exported file can also be leveraged um, uh, you know for for importing uh, those uh, those assets back so <coughs> um, yeah let's just go to our assets page so this is our assets page right and in this asset page um, uh, let me just select few assets so if i select few assets what i want is every um, every asset has uh, you know a title a file name and certain other you know um, uh, relational fields so and maybe some assets will have uh, the public links also so if you want to and in addition to that there are several other system defined fields also which every asset and or every entity uh, contains so uh, you know we don't want to basically um, export everything right we also want to we have a specific set of uh, uh, you know properties which we want to export so we will see both the options so, you know by default how exactly the entities gets exported and then if you want to have some customization on it let's say instead of um, exporting everything if you want to just export only few of the properties or relation how we can do that so the first thing which i'm going to show is how without uh, you know uh, specifying a specific set of um, um, fields or relations how how we you know what is the default view we get so for that uh, what the first step what we have to do is we have to go to a specific um, you know page uh, where exactly we want to you know uh, give option for our um, authors to uh, to export you know all this information so what we're going to do is uh, uh, we, we will take this assets landing page as an example for us and from this page if we select any of these assets and then uh, if you click this three dots more options so we should um, basically see um, some you know uh, um, export uh, link here so that on click of which we can just export all the metadata information about the selected properties here like selected uh, entities so to do that uh, let's just go to uh, <coughs> our pages because uh, everything whatever we do here like uh, is in page so right now you know this inform this is also a page this is an assets page so what we can do is we can quickly go to our manage area and the manage area uh, we have pages so let's just go to pages and on pages uh, let's go to let's go to assets so this is our assets page so this page is uh, is our assets uh, page so let's just go to assets and um, on our assets page uh, <coughs> we have the selection component right so this component whatever we see here right that is a selection component on the right hand side extreme right so we want to add that feature here itself that on click of you know on um, while selecting certain assets we get uh, we should get an option here to to export uh, those entities so what we are going to do is we are going to leverage the selection tool just click on this three dots uh, click on add it and from here you are into this selection component and on the selection component you will see we have different options like uh, show select all copy to clipboard these options are already there selected for us there is another uh, option we have here is enable export to excel which means um, you know when we select um, certain um, uh, you know entities there on our, on your assets landing page we will also get this uh, export option there so let's just enable this one and for now we are not going to make any change in export excel settings we will come to this settings later on but for now just enable export to excel is enabled for us so once you make this change you can simply save and close and from there let's just go back to our assets page and in our assets page let me quickly select you know few assets here so i have just selected couple of assets right and on this uh, more options we see this export to excel right so if i just click on this export to excel so here you can specify uh, the file name 
right uh, whatever file name you want to specify you can just do that you can specify the culture you can specify the user friendly column headers and you know the, the description is also there and it the description says that if you want to uh, use you know if you will use the user friendly column header then you won't be able to use it um, to import uh, your excel bag but we don't want you know that um, option for now we just want uh, it to come as in default and um, let me just call it as export assets right and uh, simply click on export right so now you can see like the download job is queued and what we can do we can simply go to our downloads and on our downloads um, yeah you can see that right, this export um, assets dot excel it is ready for us and we can simply download it and let's just open this one and let's see what different options we have here okay so now you can see we have different things here like we have ID identifier title description file name lifecycle and all those things uh, including the public links as well and if I if I go back to my pages no if I go back to my Ideally, we should see. Um, you know, we should uh, see all the options here. I'm not sure for for some reason. Um, I'm not seeing all the options here. So for that, to verify that only, I'm just going to my export profile. So export profile is basically you know you can create profiles for your different uh, entity types and. Uh, <coughs> uh, there you can specify that what kind of fields you want to. Um, uh, you you know you want in your um, exported file there so for that let's just go to export profiles and uh, on the export profile okay 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 so we have this asset profile which is already enabled and if I just quickly show you this one <coughs> so you can see like this um, I just want to I thought you know I'll, I'll just um, show this option later but as this option is already enabled so what it has done is it has basically taken up this asset profile uh, right so what it is like the, we have this asset profile and then we just define an asset profile name then the definition here and it is def uh, enabled by default and if I just expand this one um, it has properties which means it has title description file name here like you three properties you can see here so if I go back to my Excel you can see we have title description and file name this one and then we also have few relational fields here like final life cycle status then we have content repository <coughs> these fields are also there uh, yeah so we you see like we have this final life cycle and content repository and there are a few other fields like created by modified by and those things then we also have a public links here um, like if you want to generate a public link also you can do that so far as it, it is enabled here and here you see like it is already enabled for us so um, you know you just need to create this um, export profile make uh, and just uh, uh, set this as default and then it basically gets um, uh, you know configured for your definition which is m.asset in this case and then if you have uh, multiple you know assets create multiple profiles created what you can also do is uh, you just go to your pages go to your selection click on edit and uh, we all we enable this Excel uh, so just go to your export Excel settings and then add a definition here in this case I'm going to add M dot asset and then you specify which profile you want to specify there right now we just have one which is asset profile so let's select this one and just click on save and close so if we don't have any asset profile created what it um, if we don't have any export profile created it basically you know downloads everything uh, all, all the you know all the uh, meta information about it so let me just quickly show that also what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to go to this export Excel settings and simply delete this entity itself from here just save and close and the second thing which I'm going to do is I'm also going to disable this one so click on save and then let me you know just quickly make change um, just let me clear the cache because we have made the change on the pages so click on cache 
and let me clear all the cache and from here let's just go to our pages assets and just try to you know download once again and uh, let me just include one more click on this and export to excel and uh, I, let me just call it as export demo click on export the download job is already been queued we can go to our downloads page and here uh, we have this export demo let's just refresh it and it is now ready so let's just download and if I open this one right so now you see right uh, instead of you know uh, instead of a specific set of um, uh, uh, properties you know we are seeing everything in here so if you want so this is the default view which we get there but in case if you have a specific requirement and you don't want to you know um, uh, you don't want all your properties to be part of this exported file uh, you can basically leverage export profile and specify whatever is required there and then you know you just go from there and you if you remember like uh, last time when we talked about how to import um, you know entities in your system we talked about that your tab name should basically match with uh, uh, your entity definition name so in this case also when we exported it uh, you know we are still seeing amdot asset so which means we can we can use the same file uh, for our import also right so yeah and uh, um, you know we have this uh, you can also specify public links and all those things so if you have your assets and you have created your public links over there so you can just create uh, uh, you can specify your export profile have your public links uh, defined there and then uh, you can use uh, you know that file and uh, you go from there so guys um, that's what I just wanted to cover as part of uh, today's video and uh, yeah thanks for watching thank you